the majority of summer flowering bulbs thrive in free-draining soils, so February is an ideal time to put them in pots. Hardy perennials like Japanese anemones and hardy geraniums can also be planted. In February, the majority are dormant, with little to no leaves emerging above the ground. However, you may give them a head start by planting them in February because they will begin to grow as soon as the temperature rises. Here's what to plant February, Northern Hemisphere. Number 10. Japanese Anemones. Japanese anemones are dependable and vivacious plants that work well in borders because they complement other plants and add height and structure. Grow them in wet, well-drained soil and some shade. Number 9. Hardy Geraniums. Cranesbills, commonly referred to as hardy geraniums, are beneficial plants to have in the yard. The flowers are simple to grow and endure for several months while giving pollinators something to eat. In addition, they may grow in either light or shade. The majority of soils will be suitable for these hardy plants, with the exception of waterlogged ones. Why not try planting herb robert seeds for heavy shade? Number 8. Galtonia. Galtonia, also known as summer hyacinths, are imposing plants that grow tall spikes of white blooms that nod. They appear best when planted in broad drifts. They thrive in a sunny location with well-draining soil, and the bulbs should be spaced 10 centimeters apart and 10 centimeters deep. Plant in pots if the soil is dense. Number 7. Agapanthus. Agapanthus come in a variety of lovely varieties, and starting them off couldn't be simpler. Agapanthus thrives in containers since you may cover them if necessary during the winter. Plant the bulbs in high-quality, well-drained compost 8 to 10 centimeters deep, and 15 to 20 centimeters apart. After the frost has melted, relocate the pot outside in a warm, sunny location. Number 6. Liatris. Bees and butterflies adore the hardy, herbaceous perennials from North America known as liatris. Large, opulent flowers come in pink, purple, and white hues. Plant the bulbs 5 centimeters deep in a well-draining, light soil. Put the bulbs in pots to subsequently plant outside if your soil is heavy or flooded. Number 5. Eucomus. Although exotic pineapple lilies, eucomus, are often planted in the spring, it's not too early to do so in February. However, you'll have better luck if you put them in pots rather than open ground at this time of year because the latter can be moist and lead to the bulbs rotting. In a cold frame or unheated greenhouse, plant the bulbs 15 centimeters deep. Once all danger of frost has gone, place the potted bulbs in the garden. Number 4. Lilies. Lilies are excellent summer border flowers and are useful in bouquets of cut flowers. Any time between autumn and spring, plant the bulbs 1,520 cm deep in a sunny location with rich, well-drained soil. It's preferable to grow them in pots to subsequently transplant if your soil is heavy or moist. Number 3. Salvias. Many species of salvias may be grown from seeds, and they are excellent for adding structure and height to gardens. Spread the seeds out on top of peat-free seed compost in February and then cover them with a thin layer of compost or vermiculite. Maintain the compost's moisture by keeping the pots indoors in a bright, warm location. Number 2. Sweet Peas. Sweet peas are a summer garden staple and are simple to grow. Individually sow seeds in cardboard tubes or biodegradable pots so they may be put outside without disturbing the roots of the plants. Prior to planting, harden them off in a cold frame or unheated greenhouse. Number 1. Cosmos. Cosmos is simple to grow and look beautiful in meadows or borders. The seeds should be sown on top of peat-free seed compost in a tray or plant pot placed indoors in a bright location, such as a windowsill, in order for them to germinate. Once they are large enough to handle, they should be pricked out. What do you think about our video? Please let us know in the comments area below. If you enjoyed this video and would want to hear from me again, please subscribe and turn on the notification before leaving. Thank you for watching us.